Hi, my name's Simon from Motordrome. Now today we're going to take a walk around and a drive off, although I did do the drive a couple of days ago, I must admit. Um, this uh, historic racing spec Triumph TR5 that you can see lurking behind me here. Two videos, one walk around, one driving video. Plus we'll also put a bit of, um, not done by us, but uh, uh, videos of the vehicle on the track and actually racing that we've been allowed to, uh, to do by the previous owner, which should also appear on our website. Um, hope you like them. Okay, take a little look around this uh, 1969 Triumph TR5, but uh, a race car, this one. Uh, whilst it is road legal, it is a bit of a beast to drive on the road, So, uh, but it has had a, a long and distinguished historic racing career. Um, yeah, <laughs> very, very light. Apparently it only weighs about 860 kilos, probably helped by the fact it's got a CTM lightweight chassis on it and all the uh, external panels, apart from the doors, are fiberglass. Um, it's like proper racer but it is a genuine tr5 as i say quite a well-known car if you google racing triumph tr5 you'll probably see lots of uh, pictures and videos of it in its racing career photos really tell all the all we need to say about it obviously being a racer it's got scars and marks on it here and there but it does seem to be very well set up but going around the front we've got um a split in the edge of the fiberglass bonnet just there obviously the bonnet lifts off in one piece on this one um, split in the near side wheel arch lip just there otherwise down the near side apart from the usual stone chips and stuff it looks pretty straight some marks there on the arch and it's obviously had a bit of repair work just down there marks and scuffs from a proper racing career slight dent in the sill just down there probably from where it's been jacked up and obviously a little bit of damage on the base of the offside front wing there but it's, it hasn't gone through the fiberglass it's just the uh, the coating has come off a little bit Decent Yokohamas all round. Um, on alloys, I think they're compromotives, but I'll have to check that. Okay, small crack down there. And inside, obviously fully caged, all internal lines. Uh, the doors are steel uh, with alloy door cards on, as I say. Full multi-point cage, full fire extinguishers, four-point harness. Usual complement of dials and switches from a racer. And on the door here, we've got lots of old scrutineering tags and things. Brake bias adjustment, that big silver knob there. Wheel is detachable, stack rev counter. It's a bit of a beast. Anyway, I think there we have it. Still a TR5 underneath all that though. Anyway, my name's Simon. You can reach me in the office on 0118 907 1495, or you can go to our website, which is www.moto-drome.com for any more info video of the engine idling on this uh, race spec TR5.